Yo yo, welcome everyone to a brand new video. Today we're back with some PSGL racing. And it's time for my home Grand Prix, Sandford. Um, I really look forward to this race. Uh, one of my best tracks, absolutely. Um, this is our first qualifying okay. run. We are about to finish. If you guys have seen the previous video around Bahrain, you've seen that we we got uh, in a collision in lap one, turn mm -hmm. two, which was unfortunate. We had damage, we had to box, and that was basically race over, as there was no safety car or anything. Um, so um, that was unfortunate. For now, we are in P4, and this is our final quali run we're doing. Uh, we did two outlaps to have um, the most few out of the car uh, light as possible. Now this is a decent first sector onto the fastest corner on this track. Six gear early on the power again. And this is uh, the hardest section probably of the circuit. High speed, hard to nail it. Fifth gear on exit for better traction. Same for this corner. And now only one sector to go. We're not on a perfect lap, but there is some time in the final sector. Fourth gear over the bump. Third gear for a bit of more rotation. We went a bit too deep there. Uh, cost us around the tenth. And now final corner. Fifth gear went pr went pretty well. And now crossing the line. Oh, I'm man. not happy with the lap. But it's P2 for now, there are a lot of drivers who have to finish it. Yeah. But still, we're in P3. So, that's actually Will G with not what I expected. Best. Um, PB. But it's fine, P3, we can work yeah. from there. Um, so, uh, yeah, Isma uh, P1, Mirko P2, we are so third, so uh, let's get into the race. Here we are then at the start of the Grand Prix. There are five red lights. And away we go and it seems like we have a better start than Mirko. We're so we're going for the outside there. Trying to have more momentum on the exit. But he is just about ahead of us. And I didn't want to get pushed on the curb so I had to back out of it. Now taking a bit of a wide line to have a good exit coming out of here. Jack West had a sneak peek up the inside but we managed to stay ahead of him for now. So nothing uh, too crazy happened which is good. Uh, we survived further than uh, previous races. <laughs> and now Jack West is pretty close behind us and he goes for a move on the inside. Hits us as well. He's keeping it around the outside but this is basically our corner. So we're still ahead of him. You're he so lost dumb, some time man. there going on the curb. And there's Chanakinchi up the inside of him. As they, as you can see, the white arrow is there. Yeah, he crashed. Yep. Colliding. Hey, come on, Isma. And now we have a gap of 1.1 seconds. So I hope that Isma would push a bit right now. What to do? To have a gap to the rest of the field. Oh yeah, of course. VSC. VSC is not too bad. Hopefully it's not a safety car. So yeah, I actually thought it was a safety car and I wouldn't be happy with that. And now in lap 14. Um, nothing too crazy happened. Chanek she managed to stay in the DRS but the cars behind him uh, are out of DRS. So we're basically gone with the top 4. As Mirko was push, putting a bit of pressure on Isma, as Chanakinchi yeah. boxes in lap 17. And I was also thinking about boxing, but I think it's fine that we went one lap later. As we are following Mirko here, I um, want to break just in time. Yes, we do. <sighs> no speeding this time. So we have to watch out for Chanakinchi who was boxed one lap earlier. Undercut 
is not too powerful but you're uh, gaining some time and especially when our tires need to warm up in the first part of the circuit so we are ahead of chance so that's good but his tires will be uh, much warmer than ours we're having a bit of oversteer using our ERS just to stay close to Mirko and now you can see how much time Chen is gaining and then in this next right hand there he hits the rear of the car and luckily we just about managed to keep it on I'm track sure. well not on track but out of the wall and that's cost us around two seconds there so now we have to use a lot of our battery to get back into the DRS which is not ideal um, and of course Isma still uh, has to box as he's in the pits right now so if he didn't have the perfect in-lap then we might be able to catch up again so it's 1.6 now but you they will have back. they will have DRS from each other and as I said he should give that back of course he basically hits us off the track so now they're battling up, up, up front a bit so we are still using our ERS but we basically have to if we don't we're not gonna catch up and we need the DRS as soon as possible so now in this section Isma is running second right now and we were right behind Mirko so we would have been in second position at this point or even first as we could easily get past Mirko at the long straight but at least Tire. we have the DRS again yeah. so that's fine then in lap 21 we are still low on ERS because it's really hard to save and now Chenikin she's not uh, going flat out as I expect him to let me pass now yeah, I don't have the ERS mate but the cars up ahead are still quite far away mm, not optimal as they're still 1.1 seconds basically ahead of me so I still have to use my ERS to close so I was on 25% or 20 and now I have to use everything to keep the DRS here so this is quite a bad position for us as we're now flashing and now not using a single bit and we are only on 25% what is it 36 and um, now Chen was putting a bit of pressure so we had to use Don't again and now we are back on 20% um, so we um, saved up around 15% in 5 laps and now we used like 12% again um, so not a deal and now in lap 31 we saved up yeah, again uh, some ERS around 50% but the cars up ahead are using um, a lot at this point so I decided to just save as we don't have the ERS to fight already and if we didn't get hit we would have been on 100% surely um, but for now we just have to play a different game as Mirko is now on around 28% he was and now they are going again Isma is still putting pressure and Mirko is defending quite hard I was lucky that Chen um, was staying behind us and not uh, going for a move anymore. Mirko 17%. And now Mirko was on 17% ERS so we have a lot more to play with for these final laps and here I'm actually making a big mistake. 
Um, I'm using quite a lot as I wanted to stay close in case something happened as they are going again. But we used 20% of our ERS and that's actually a bit too much for the result as we just didn't gain anything with it. But that's uh, what you can learn from it. And, and it was lap 34 so it was that lap trying to go for an overtake or the final lap and if I wanted to finish first I had to use because you're not going to overtake two cars in one straight uh, around here as the straight is just simply not long enough but now we are quite close and Chen behind us is around six tenths behind us so we have a gap to him he probably won't be a threat for us anymore but both cars ahead of me are flashing and Isma is even lower on ERS than Mirko. We are on 35% ERS. So we're going to use a bit here to stay close. And now use the rest of it at this trade. So now it's all about talking in the slipstream. Opening up the DRS using ERS. Oh, but we're good. not having enough ERS to get past before the corner. So we're going to go try to go around the outside. Going to stick it up here using ERS again. Now we're at the outside for this next corner. And he defends that pretty well. So yeah, nothing to do uh, basically. Um, it was uh, always right to uh, claim that corner there. So GG's to him. Um, it was just mm. not enough. Uh, oh, stupid. <laughs> yeah. If I didn't get blown up by Chan, it was an easy win. Fuck, you know. Ah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate what happened this race. If we didn't get hit by Chen, we would have been second, and then uh, I think I was quite confident to still make a move at the end, as we were only saving and at the end running yeah, with equal ERS than uh, as the first two runners. Ah, so uh, it should have been with a win. It's uh, it's unlucky. I, I oh hope to God. win the race at my home GP, and it was definitely in there, but just not enough. And even on the uh, lap, even on lap 34, we made a mistake by using a bit. But if we wanted to win, we had to. But uh, yeah, looking back at it, it's always uh, different. But uh, thanks for watching. Next week will be Canada. Um, so if you guys enjoyed the video, and see you guys next time. Ciao.